Two places still up for grabs in the semi-finals. The winner of this match will take on the number one seeds of Mohamed Rian Ardianto and Faja Alfian. The Japanese pair here will have just seen what happened to their compatriot and hoping to do a little better here. They're up against a pair that will have home support here at the uh, Jindam Stadium. First meeting between these pairs. Okay, as you play home, you may choose black or red. Red, black for you. Red, you may choose. Receive, who will receive? Check who will Who will serve and which side? That's all. Have a good match. So let's find out a little bit more on these uh, players. We start with Yoshinori Takeuchi, 30 years of age, 180 centimeters tall, almost six foot near the capital Tokyo. Currently 34th in the world, highest has been 27. When it first achieved uh, in December of 2022. And uh, his partner, Keichiro Matsui, is 26, a lot shorter, 169. These two have uh, only once got to a final of a World Tour event. That was the Russia Open in 2019. And even when it was called the Grand Prix, same event in 2017. But that was a mixed doubles for Keichiro Matsui. Yoshinori Takeuchi. He's got to the US Grand Prix 2014 with another partner, men's doubles runner up in there as well. They played Malaysian pairs in both contrasting matches. What a result that was against Aaron Chian Soyik yesterday, the fourth seeds. They've done well there. Tight, tight one, that one, wasn't it? 62 minutes, so they're not to be discounted. Kang Min Hyuk is just 24, he's six foot tall, he's from Suwon. His best is uh, ranking is 11th, achieved just a few weeks ago, currently 12th in the world. In terms of men's doubles, the Asian Championships, he got a bronze in 2019 with a different partner. World Junior Championships in the boys' doubles, he got a bronze as well in 2017. Seo Sung Jae is 25, from Jeonju, he's about six foot tall. His highest ranking is seventh. That was his previous partner, Choi Sol Gyu. Uh, and that was achieved in November 2019. They actually found it harder against the Koreans, fellow Koreans, in the last Ready round. They beat uh, the Taipei Open champions recently, Man Wei Chong and Ti Wai Kai Wun, uh, pretty comfortably. Now, Seo Sung Jae has won nine titles overall. Five in uh, men's doubles. Let so me see the officials here. Sebastien Couval, the Frenchman. In terms of doubles, Malaysia Masters, these two have won together, the Koreans, earlier this year. Super 500, they've also run us up at the German Open. It's also a very accomplished mixed double player, Seo Suk Jae, and in fact, in court one, it's also a mixed double player, Seo Suk Jae, three.
Keichiro Matsui and Yoshinori Takeuchi, Japan. And on my left, Cho Shen Ye and Kan Min Yu, Korea. Good support. Kan Min Yu to serve to Yoshinori Takeuchi. Level play. It's the Koreans to get us going here. Still a fairly new pairing at Kang Min Hyuk and Seo Su Jae and They've only got to 11 quarterfinals previously. They've won six, including the last one at the Indonesia Open, where they beat Fernando Martin of oh, Indonesia. Two left. In fact, uh, they've won five of the last six quarterfinals that they've been in. So it was when they first started together, they struggled a little bit. Just started a bit. Build a bit of steam. Three love, Matsui son. Matsui son. Don't shout before the line gets mixed up. Pretty good start right now from the Japanese. Four and answer points. We've seen this side be quite effective. However, they, the Japanese have had a very poor record on the World Tour at the quarterfinal stage. They've only won three of 13, of 16 quarterfinals, I should say. And in fact, that's the first point on the board for the Koreans. They've lost their last six quarterfinals in a row. The last quarterfinal they won was the Russian Open 2019. That's the one that they uh, went on to win. That's really, really nicely placed by Matsui. Five, one. Excellent start here, really, but. Yeah, they've never got won a quarterfinal, interestingly enough, in Asia. The three that they've won, Russia, Canada, and Australia. Two, five. What's your result? Slow right no, no, no. side, uh, the pair Six, are doing two. very well indeed. Oh. Given that they've not had a particularly good record as a pairing, only won 64 out of 117 matches, that means they've had 53 defeats. Oh. They are Seven, dominating two. this. As we've seen the pack today. Well, certainly from the last match, anyway. That this end, you do tend to start very well. Remember, it was 9-2, first two games of the last match. They've actually lost more than they've won this year. They've only won six out of 18 matches. It's about 30% win rate. That is tough. That's not great, is it? Whereas Kang Min Hyuk and Seo Sung Jae have won 22 out of 31 matches. 71% win rate. Very good. That's good. That's in. I just wonder how much the uh, tiredness is affecting Seo Sung Jae. He just left that one. Nine. 
three. Really struggling at the moment. Kang and Chiu. Koreans. So the fault called. Very colourful outfits that the Japanese are wearing. Oh, it's good. Ten, four. Very well placed. They're very clearly in. Just not able to get the second points, are they? And it's the Japanese at the moment looking pretty good. They've got a six point lead here, 11 5 in game one. The lead. I think there's going to be a little Stop warning here. Yeah. Japanese really were on a fine run here. The lead is seven, and certainly the Koreans have to do something to stop their progression of points. That's more like it. And that's the first time they've actually managed to get consecutive points in this game so far. Easily put away there by Seo Sung Jae. Now let's see if they can embark on a run. Oh. 
Second time that they've got a couple of points in a row. Nine, four, Jason Jane and Kupman Gyuk with the finishing touch. Remember, the lead was eight not too long ago at 13-5, which means the Koreans have won five of the last six points. Much, much better. Well, they want more. They've got to do a lot more. Good reactions there from Khan. Well said, they needed a good run, and it's four in a row here. Twice now, Takeuchi's just gone towards the umpire. And I just wonder whether the Japanese are just looking to try and slow things down, the momentum that the... Koreans are starting to build. Well, the crowd's also starting to feel this as well, aren't they? Because, again, reminder, it was 13-5. Seven of the last eight have gone the way of the Koreans. The lead is only two now. Tremendous from them. And that run finally that comes to an road. end, but 15, they have made big inroads here and within striking distance. Two points in it, very, very good, as far as the Koreans are concerned. Can they continue this? Can they break that? Can they draw level? Put the pressure right back on the Japanese. Every time they get within a couple, not being able to just break past that. Jason Jay finds the corner. 15, 15. And for the first time, they get within a point of their opponents. Time. Time to Pressure is right on the Japanese now. Helping the Koreans cause Japan 17, in front by two. This may well go down to the wire in this game. Again, it's 
only one now. Joseph Jay's record here is very good. He's won this in 2017, sorry, he's won this in 2022 last year. Japanese not going to make this easy, are they? These are the defending champions, Shio Suk Jae and Kang Min Hyuk, winning against Fajr Af and Mohamed Riyad Adianto in the final. I want to keep the fans happy doing that again. The chance there, didn't he? Kang Min Hyuk. So these two have won it before, and then Shoshin J has had two semi-final appearances, 2018 and 2019. Those are the only three times he's been in this tournament, so he's never failed to get to the semi-finals. He's got to dig a little deep here to ensure they win the first game. Give them a good head start. And maybe with a shot like that, they have. Eighteen ninety, Macron Court. Thank you. Kung Min on the other hand, before last year, had never got past the second round. In uh, three previous appearances before last year's Macron final. So he's this is really good for him. What? As for the uh, Japanese pair, well, they still what? don't get to play too many ah. tournaments in the in the Open. They've the first appearance in the career open. And they've given themselves two game points here, the Japanese. Tough now. Played it anyway, the Japanese. 19, and the Koreans. Have one more game point to save. This is where you feel that the crowd could do their part. Ready? Could get right behind them. Urge them on. Get this final point. Get it to 20 all. That's a glorious shot, and they have got it to 20 all. Oh, that's superb. The placing of the shots, look at that. That's what set it up. And it was easy for Kang Min Hyuk to then finish it off. Oh, has that clipped the line? It has. 
Since they are going to challenge the Japanese, you feel that at this point they really have to. But I feel just from where I'm sitting, that is it. Can't quite see it on this angle. We will hear, it looks like. That looks in. And I tell you what, if we are now having that confirmed in the review, as we think it is, it is the first time that the Koreans have the lead in this game. And what a moment to do it. They've been trailing almost the entire game. Only one other time have they had been drawn level. Two other times they've drawn level in this game. And the Japanese have led throughout. Can they finish it off now, the Koreans? The pressure here, the Koreans, but we know how good their defending can be. Oh, wonderful! Oh, excellent work! What defending Shoshin Jay Kong Min Hyuk had to do in that. And they had to play some instinctive shots. Really work their bodies. And they've won this, having trailed the entire game except till the end. And remember, they were trailing by eight at one stage. 5-13. They put on a spectacular run to really pile the pressure on. They had a five-point run at one stage. It really helped them. Since the interval, they have been brilliant. And they've taken the first game. 22 20. <laughs> Twenty seconds, twenty seconds. Second game, level play. So a very, very dramatic first game that goes in favor of the Koreans who have been given an almighty scale by this lower ranked Japanese pair. They played really well. You feel for them because they Jones might well have uh, won that. And that shot, by the way, One looked like it was going out. I think that's what Yoshi J was just signaling. I don't think the Koreans want to go through all that again. So they're certainly going to be a little bit more on their guard. They're probably on the end that they would fancy, you'd think. Let's see. One ball. Two, one. So Jay is a very accomplished doubles player. Well, he's 
start that. As you said, he's, you know, he's with Choice or Gu, who reached uh, number seven in the world. Teamed up with Kang Min Hyuk uh, last year. In fact, not long after they teamed up, they won the Korea Open. And uh, to be fair, Kang Min Hyuk has really risen to the challenge. Service fault a piece now in this match. As I said, it's been a pretty good 2023 for these two, the Koreans. Oh, well, they're wide. And Again, Five, it's a it's a two. fairly decent start from the uh, Japanese. Again, <laughs> the Koreans haven't helped themselves, have they? Reactions from the Japanese. Oh. And they've kept themselves in this and they've gone on to win it. Decent start again for them. Similar to the last game. They will remember, of course, very, very fresh in the mind how they capitulated after having a sizable eight point lead. So four points at the start is not going to mean too much to them at the moment. It's really down to three. Three, six. Pirouette going on here. All action on that point. Takuchi threw himself at that one to no avail. Well, Kangin have a very good record against Japanese players. Thank you. Back on court. No drinking. They have. One uh, six out of eight. If you want to drink, you have to ask. Yeah. Against Japanese players, the only times drink, they've lost twice against Akuro Hoki and Hugo Kobayashi. Play. Not a bad pair to lose to. I've also beaten them a few times as well, to be fair. So they're very good record against Japanese <laughs> pairings. Seven, four. Yeah, with uh, Eight, four, like the show on the floor, they were vulnerable, weren't they? To be fair to the uh, Japanese pair, they've got a good record against Koreans. Winning six out of eight matches against them in their career. A lot of that, though, is... 
so smaller tournaments, but wins are wins. Wait. Both have identical records. Six wins and two losses against opponents from respective countries. And while the Koreans Five are trailing eight. here, it just feels like it's a little different from that first game. Where they were sizing up their opponents, first time they've ever met each other, of course. Reactions. Oh, outstanding! How did they win that? Shiosun Jay was on the floor, played an instinctive shot. Both the Japanese players hesitated. Look at him, he's still on the floor here. They're obviously aiming at him as they should. Good reactions from Shiosun Jay. They saw him on the floor. Takuchi hits it towards him. And then a little hesitation, I think he saw Matsui just in the corner of his eye, also going for it. Okay. Really good point. And uh, you'd have to call it a bonus point for the uh, Koreans. They're trailing by two. their lead though just as they did in the previous game okay. Japanese remember they only gave it up right at the very very end Ten, six. Challenge here from Shio Su Jay. He didn't seem particularly convinced by it. It's a great shot. That is in. From Matsui. That is in, isn't it? Yeah, very much so. Unsuccessful. One challenge remaining. 11 and it's once again the Japanese are in front here at the interval, the second game. They had an 11-5 lead in the first, which they went on, of course, to lose. Can we go get Siosu-J lead after winning that first game? points back and not have to dig as deep as they did in the previous game. Kang and Xiu. A reminder again, they were 5-13 down and then really fought back. 
had a big run of five points to narrow the lead and then later on not to win it so they can avoid that here they just trail by three now they'll be a lot happier with this can they maintain it ready Three in a row, first time they've done that in this match. Rally there, all Nine. action. Similar to where we were in the previous game, 13-10. Sudden Japanese have started to look a bit more. 11, 15. Well, they put themselves in a good position, let's just say that. And then trailing by only four here. This is where the Koreans really had to make their move. Eh? They put the pressure on. Can they do the same here? Again. Wonderful. Well, Cross game. court. A little bit of slice there from Seo Sung Jae. These are some epic rallies. Back. 
Back on court. Thank you. Show is serving. could see Takuyuchi's reaction is hitting his racket in frustration that he's not able to get that over. He can understand where he's coming from. Having to scramble to the back there, Kung. And then he just hits his racket, knowing that he probably should have done better. Like before, 16, not allowing. Only a point again. And now level. This is what they've done so well. Applied that pressure. Perhaps taking them a bit longer than they would have wanted. Lost his footing there, didn't he? Can't. Oh, he threw himself at that. Seo Sung Jae and the Japanese are in front by two. At the business end of this second. They have been here before. Thank you. Thank you. Oh no, they are now 
in a good position. The Koreans left themselves far too much to do. Up by three. Is it enough? Again, the Koreans have to dig deep here. That's glorious from Cup. Can they turn defence into attack? <laughs> the Japanese have set up three game points. Now, can they convert? They were 20, 18 up, if I recall, the previous game, and couldn't. You win. Yeah, it was 2018. Had a couple of game points. Now, the Koreans still have to get two more. The Japanese have taken it. And they will take it to a third. They'll be relieved. After what happened in the first, that they saw this one through. Again. At no point did they forsake the lead. They had the lead throughout. And this time, they kept it. The Koreans have been wondering. How on earth they much higher ranked they have let this get away. Twenty 
Final game. Lobo. Play. So this third game, Ned, it's been dragged to. Let's see how this one progresses. One the Japanese one have started well in each of the last two. time outside of game point in the first game that the Japanese that the Koreans have actually taken the lead in the game incredible to game three it's only happened now need a little adversity to jolt you into action. better from the Koreans. Oh. And the crowd much happier. Five. This is unfamiliar territory from what we saw earlier. Because they haven't played as dominantly as this up till now. Why did it require it going into the third game? Thank you. Back on time. What did I say about breaking?
Well, it's excellent from the Koreans. Remember, they will change sides at the halfway point. Finally, they break that run. Two, seven. Still with a five-point lead. Koreans in good shape. This is actually a reversal. Well, they've put themselves in a very good position here. They've got a five-point lead. Points are up now. Get to the interval with a seven point lead, they will really give themselves a good platform. <laughs> Well, the Japanese may have other ideas. Five, ten. Better from Matsui Takeuchi. So into the interval we go in game three with the Koreans five points clear, 11-6. Looking good right now. Seconds, 
76. Play. Come on, Shui. Korean's edge further ahead. Well, it's all action. It's fast paced. It's entertaining, and the crowd enjoying themselves. There's another men's doubles match to come still. back again but two and Takeuchi it's the first time that they have been trailing and they're the ones who have to dig deep now Whoa! that's well placed hey, by Takeuchi Well, the lead is four for the Koreans. That time of asking, playing those attacking shots again. So, I'm not giving up, they're hanging in there. On the ground. Always hard. Well, you'd have to say at this stage, the Koreans are in a very, very good position. Disappointing serve, Matsui, he knows it, jumping up and down in frustration with himself. 
Five points required by Kang and Seo. Put themselves into the semi-finals. Lovely stop drop there from Takeuchi. Eleven sixteen. Thank you. Japanese are protesting. He's trying to point at the uh, the screen there, looking at the replay. Saying, the uh, the shuttle brushed Matsui. Hard to see, really, really hard to see. It's protesting with a smile on his face. Three away now. Off at that one. Kang. Thank you. Back on court. Over. Seo Sun Jay frustrated with himself. They still have a very decent lead of five points. You shouldn't be feeling the pressure. This is where the crowd is looking to help out. It's good. And all of a sudden, they will feel they've got a little bit of momentum here.
for three points there. Now just two more required to finish this off. Eventually pushed all the way by this Japanese pair, unfancy Japanese pair, who have already taken out the Malaysian seeds earlier and pushed the Koreans here today, and in fact never lost the lead until the very end of the first game. Had the lead throughout the second, which they won, and in the end outplayed in this third game, but. Kang and Xiu having to work very, very hard in this, the defending champions. Tough old match, and it's taken a long, long time, this one. But they have eventually won through. So delight for them. As Kang Min Hyuk and Seo Seung Jae, the Koreans beat Keichiro Matsui and Yoshinori Takeuchi of Japan 22 20, 18 21, 21 14. They've done it in 72 minutes.
This is the HSBC BWF Career Open 2023. And we're into our final match of the day here on court one. It's quarterfinals day. Takuro Hockey 